Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I want to talk about something that not a lot of people realize. Hey, guess what? Those digital movies you buy on iTunes and Vudu and wherever, you don't actually own them. If you're new to the channel, please hit that bell notification, the like, subscribe, share with your friends, any help you can give me to keep this channel running. I, I greatly appreciate it. I love doing these videos. I put them out every day. So yeah, I want to talk about something that's kind of been floating around the, 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 the Facebooks and the Instagrams and the Twitters and something that it, it's not widespread yet, but I feel that it's something that should be addressed. You don't own digital movies. You, for, for lack of a better term, you kind of long-term rent. So there was a couple people that posted on, on the various forums and have provided actual screenshots of emails with Apple, uh, Apple employees. So they went to their digital collection and they discovered that a couple movies, I think there were three in, in a few instances, were removed from their library. And of course, you're like, hey, what's going on here? Let's, let's you know, find out. So they contacted Apple support and provided links. I'll actually provide a link to the story in the description, so go ahead and check it out. But yeah, so long story short, I mean, Apple can, and, and Vudu and all these digital mediums pretty much can do whatever they want with their digital product. You don't, they, they are distributors. They are not the studios. The studios, how it goes is you have your distributor, you have your your Apple, your Vudu, uh, Movies Anywhere, you have all those floating around. But they are just they only have distribution rights to these TV shows, these movies. All that stuff is contingent on contract and length of contract. So let's just take any movie out, let's just say for, for popularity's sake, that Apple has Avengers. Well, they have it for as long as our contract says they have it, or as long as, it, as the studios say they can have it. So let's say you buy Avengers digitally off of iTunes. So as long as they have the distribution rights, you own that movie. You, you bought it, everything. But you have to download. You have to have either an external storage, or you have to have an Apple TV or Roku or some device that has a movie. Once you download it, then you have it as long as it's downloaded. But let's say you need to clear some room on your storage device and you remove it and, and it is no longer being offered by iTunes or Apple, you're, that movie's gone. You have no, no right to that movie beyond the contract of the distribution from whatever agreement is between those, those two entities. So... I, it's something I've known about for years. So back in 2012, before I owned anything Apple, I was pretty late to the party on that. I actually had a couple digital movies. I, I was like, oh, this is a new thing. Let's let's try this. Now, the movie, I believe, was um, it was Horrible Bosses, I think. And I had that on what was Flickster back then. And I had it on there for a couple of years. And then one day I'm, I'm rummaging around in the digital library and I noticed it wasn't on there anymore. And I'm like, I could swear I had this movie. So after some, some, you know, uh, some emails and some and inquiries and looking on the internet, I found out that it was no longer being distributed by Flickster at the time. That's why I lost the movie. So that is something that got me to thinking and it stayed with me ever since that yes, you have a digital code that comes in with a Blu-ray or either you buy it directly from Flickster or whatever, but Flickster's relationship or you know distribution rights ran out. So that movie's no longer available unless it was downloaded. And I don't believe I had a download option at the time, but I wasn't serious into digital movies and I'm still not. I, I keep them on there just for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, that's something I've known for years that you don't own these movies. The, these are things that you long-term rent. And it also got me to thinking of other things. Now, this is, yes, this is kind of tinfoil hat territory a little bit. But based off of what's happening over in the gaming world, now, I am a big-time gamer. I have PlayStation 4, Xboxes forever. I've had these systems. And a hot-button hot topic is DLC. And 
So what happens is you buy this game for $60 and these companies now interjected ways to get additional revenue out of you, whether it's DLC or microtransactions. Microtransactions, in my opinion, is the dirtiest word that's been invented in the last couple years. So they can charge you for these little bells and whistles. Over at uh, over um, in the game NBA uh, 2K18, they literally charge you real money for haircuts on your digital players. You wanted a, you wanted something, you needed to pay for it. What it's, it's not included in the game. Now I don't feel that DLC is inherently wrong. I feel microtransactions are a very slippery slope, and ultimately how this relates to movies and digital studios iTunes, Voodoo, they want you to buy digital because you own nothing at that point. You are long-term renting and when you do, what's to stop them from adding their own version of DLC or some kind of microtransaction thing? Imagine buying the Avengers and saying, okay, well, you got it for a month, but then we're going to charge you a dollar on top of that or we're going to start interjecting ads into these movies. There's nothing to stop them from doing such a thing. It's a, it's a virtual minefield of what they can do and how they can monetize on top of it. They would love it. These studios would love it if physical media went away completely. Because, hey, guess what? We have this copy of this movie. You can rent it from as long term digitally. You're not buying it. Let's make no mistake. You're really not buying it. And, oh, now we can say, oh, we're going to change this. We're changing. And what's to stop them, honestly, from going back and changing the movie itself? Let's say a movie comes out. And a couple years down the line, all is good, but then, then a hot button issue happens, you know, where, oh, this is now offensive. Something is offensive about this. Okay, let's go to American Pie. Recently, I read an article stating that some, you know, millennial types find the films deeply offensive. What's to stop them from digitally going in and taking those scenes out? You know, removing those scenes. Or maybe somebody was doing something... Like, let's take Kevin Spacey. Imagine Kevin Spacey being digitally, re you, his scenes being removed from a movie because, you know, of what he did or something like that. In theory, this could happen. Movies are edited all the time, even down the line. They just, they just literally finished The Predator. They edited those scenes out with the guy. You know, if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a, a little controversy where Olivia Munn called out uh, this, uh, this, uh, glorified extra and because he had a, a previous criminal record and the, literally the movie's getting ready to go out and Fox step Fox steps in not Shane Black Fox steps in and removes those scenes with this guy why can't they do that on a disc format or a digital format so what I'm saying is digital movies you don't own them be aware of that so if you're going to go digital anyway you don't want to have to deal with discs or clutter or anything like that Make sure you get an external storage or you download everything because the little Apple TVs and Roku's are not designed to carry long, large collections. They are not. You know, just get an external storage or just go to physical. I mean, I will be physical until day I die. I don't, I mean, look, you know, this is just a small sampling of my collection. I will not ever go to a, to a digital only collection because you don't own what, you, what you're buying. You spend $20 on a disc or you spend $20 on a digital movie, which one do you think you're more likely to lose first? You're going to lose that dis the digital copy. It's just, this is the way it is. But there's a, there's a lot of inherent dangers with this kind of thing happening. So it's just something I wanted to talk about briefly. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll link to the article in the, in the show notes in the um, description, but yeah, please, you know, be wary of what you're getting into. I mean, is this something that bothers you? Is this something that you, you are concerned about? Please, you know, leave a comment, you know, in the meantime, you know, just be, just be aware that these things can happen. You can lose your movies that you supposedly bought and there's nothing really you can do about it. So that's going to be it. This is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and I will see you at the movies.